Game two of the World Series between the Royals and Giants. Kansas City trying to even the series up at one game apiece as rookie Jordano Ventura against the start against Jake Peavy. Royals legend George Brent on hand to throw out the first pitch to his old teammate John Wathen. And the fans are excited for this one to get started. Top of the first, Ventura on the hill against Gregor Blanco, leading off for the Giants. First batter of the game. Bang! A solo home run to right field, and Blanco makes history. He becomes the first Giant to ever hit a leadoff homer in a World Series game. San Francisco is up one to nothing, and as they did in game one, the Giants strike first in game two. Bottom half of the inning, Royals looking for an answer. Billy Butler up with two on and two out against Peavy, and Butler comes through. He singles. This will bring home Lorenzo Kane. Kansas City is on the board. This game is tied up at one. That's all the Royals would get in the first. Bottom of the second, Alcides Escobar up with the runner on, looking to give the Royals the lead. And a liner up the right field line, fair ball. Royals grab the lead as Infante scores on the double by Alcides Escobar. KCSP with the call. It's 2-1, to one, Kansas City. Top of the third, Blanco back of the dish. He hits one hard to first. Eric Hosmer, nice stop. Dives towards the bag. He tags it in time for the second out of the inning. Watch this again. First, it's a nice play by Hosmer to make the initial stop and then the excellent effort as he dives, tags the base just in time for the out. Top of the fourth, Brandon Belt up to bat. Pablo Sandoval on second after doubling. That ties him with Boo Powell for third all time after reaching base in 25 straight playoff games. And Belt comes through for the Giants with the bat. He hits one past Hosmer into right field. Nori Aoki has some trouble with it. Sandoval comes in to score. It's an RBI double for Belt. And this game is all tied up at two. Next batter is Michael Morse. He flies out to Aoki in right field, who quickly fires it in. And Belt gets hung up between second and third. The throw comes in. It goes off of Escobar's glove. Ventura picks it up, fires to second in time to double up Belt. Inning is over. You see it again. Belt with some indecision and hesitation between second and third. He is unable to get back to the base in time. Bottom six, Butler back of the dish, this time with two on against Gene Mucci, looking to retake the lead for the Royals. Swing and a line drive, base hit left field. Up with it, Ishikawa. Kane coming to the plate. The throw is cut off. Billy Butler is driven in two, and the Royals lead in the sixth. KCSP with the call once again. It's 3-2 Kansas City. Butler getting a curtain call. He would be lifted for a pinch runner. Later in the inning, runners on second and third. Hunter Strickland on out of the pen. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. He drives one to the gap in left center, and this will go for extra bases. It's a two-run double that adds to the Royals' lead, makes it 5-2 Kansas City. The Royals are fired up, and they're not done yet. Next batter, Omar Infante. The 1-0 pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep left field. It is gone. Infante hits a two run home run. It is 7 2 KC. KC has P with the call one more time. Now, as Perez and Infante cross the plate, there's a heat of the exchange between some of the Royals and Strickland. Benches would clear, but cooler heads prevail. No punch is thrown. No one is ejected. The Royals win game two by a 7-2 final, tying the series up at one. The loss stats a seven-game World Series win streak for the Giants. Kelvin Herrera gets the win, the seventh win for a Kansas City reliever this postseason. The seven relief victories ties the record for a single postseason, matching the 2003 Marlins. Tim Lincecum left the game with lower back tightness, and game three will be Friday in San Francisco. For more on the Royals' game two victory, here are MLB.com's Tim McMaster and Frank Thomas. Thanks a lot. The Royals offense really came to life in the sixth inning of game number two. And Billy Butler, of course, always a big guy in this lineup. And he came through, puts him ahead three to two. Well, Billy Butler's been a great hitter in his lineup for many years now. Uh, he's been waiting to get on this stage, and he did disappoint tonight. He had two big hits tonight, two big RBI hits, once against PV, once against Machi there in the sixth inning. Uh, he knows he's going to build a bench in San Francisco, so he, may, he wanted to make an impact tonight in front of the home crowd. Then Salvador Perez, who had the home run in game one, he comes through with a double, but the big blow that really put this thing away, Omar Infante of all guys. Well, Omar Infante has a lot of bat speed. You're not going to sneak too many fastballs by this guy, and he showed you he had power tonight. So Omar Infante puts him up big. The Royals go on to win this one, and we will head west to San Francisco with this series knotted up at one.